So what we're working on here is the place command, the bed command, the go to a specific location and remain there until you're removed command. Um, and as you can see, once the dog understands the concept of this, it is very, very easy to extend duration, to um, change location, um, and to build up and start to step up the demands on the dog uh, in this behavior. And the way that it's taught is by making the dog believe and realize and recognize the fact that the actual place that you've put them in is better for the dog from their point of view, not from mine, but from their point of view, they are better being there than they are being anywhere else until they're released. And it's taught through a combination of things. It's taught through the tangible reward, the food uh, initially, or toys, of actually touching and going to a specific target, a place, a bed, or whatever it is. Um, and then it's ta taught with um, the use of pressure and the application of pressure, which is removed when the dog goes onto that specific target, that specific bed. So that they, if they then get off that bed or that place, the pressure is applied again until they're back on the bed. Now this isn't anything to do with pain, it's nothing to do with fear, but it is to do with um, the dog having a recognition and an understanding that getting off of the bed is to be avoided and getting on the bed and remaining on the bed is preferable for them. So that's basically what we're working on here is, as you can see, he's pretty relaxed. Well, he's very relaxed, really. He just crashed out down there, laying down over there. Um, and there's no constant command and it doesn't matter where I am in relation to him. To be honest with you, the distance here, it doesn't matter a hoot. I could just keep, I could keep going way down there. He's not gonna break, I know he's not gonna break. Um, because he's starting, the penny's dropped with him in terms of what this exercise means. So I don't recall him from it either. So I'll go over and join him in that position and he's released when I'm alongside of him. But I just wanna show it, um, just really to show how I know a lot of people struggle with dogs that are um, over exuberant um, you know boisterous uh, and it's a brilliant behavior it's a brilliant behavior thing well, how do I stop my dog from jumping up at people how do I stop my dog from you know knocking things over or jumping all over the furniture or whatever my dog gets really excited when guests come to the house and things like that and rather than looking at well, tackle that, stop that, stop the jumping, stop the bouncing on furniture, don't let them on furniture, this, that and the other, you are far better off to teach the dog a behaviour that you would prefer, a behaviour that you'd like to see in place. And place being the operative word, which is another word for the command that you can see here, um, basically it calms the dog down. It doesn't, there is no need for the dog to be ultra excited, you know, and um, surging with um, adrenaline, uh, you know, and stuff like that whilst he's in that position, because what's the point? I'm just laying down, or I'm sitting down, whatever. He happens to be laying down. But there's no need for him to be, um, you know, wound up, if you like. So it serves such a huge purpose, and it is of such massive benefit um, when you have a busy household, for example, or an excitable young dog, and you want to be able to address that, the best way to address it is through this behavior here, this action that you're seeing here, which is basically giving the dog a place to go to and to remain on so it can settle and calm down. And there's no excitement given to him whilst he's there either. I don't go over and give him food, I don't go over and give him tons of fuss or anything like that. If I walk past him, I may stroke his head and that's it. You know, I might make it a good lad, but that's as much as he's gonna get until he hears the magic release word, which is um, basically says to him, it's time to get up and go, you're free. But other than that, you know, he just remains there. There's nothing being used, there's no force, no coercion, no nothing, he's just there. Um, so yeah. going to say anything I'll probably I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll speed up this little bit of video now because I'm just going to walk back to my vehicles over there I'm just going to walk back to the other side of the vehicle so I'm out of sight from him and, uh, and then come back down that's nice look I'll just, just if I can zoom in on there just see him see his head down 
notice the sheep as well all around him, look. Very nice. Sighted. Back in again. Okay.